Morning. Super early. Monday morning, 6.30, and we're heading to the car. We're gonna get it out probably after 36 hours of it sitting underground, and Monaco has been so crazy, the traffic's been ridiculous that we both said that like there's no way that we're gonna drive cars going down. I can go to the cash machine to get that extra cash. Ah. Uh. So Monaco's been so crazy with traffic that we haven't really it's shut. Um, well, this is our car park. Ah, uh, look, there's a ticket, ticket thing there. Yeah, there must be. Oh, well, this isn't a good start to the morning. Oh, you know the... The wonderful morning when you're ready to be challenged. Right. So we're written. Let's get out. We can get over to seven hours. 32 euros. Oh, if it does open at 7 o'clock. Can't shut at 8 o'clock. No, that'd be mad, eh? So challenge number one passed. We've made it in. Challenge number two... is paying for the ticket. doesn't like bent notes. I've given up with the machine. I'm going to start again at 7 a.m. But this is annoying. We decided to leave at half six for a reason, so that we could get to Ford France in good time, so that we could get to Eurostar in good time. If we hit traffic now, <laughs> then uh, we're in for a bit of trouble. So we're with the beast, which has been tucked away for about a day and a half, which we're quite sad about, but we were also happy that we were, we were able to kick it up the mountain. Well, Sam was more happy about that than me. Maybe I should have redone the test and put him in the back. However, what is the time? We've got 10 minutes or so until this uh, car park opens, and then maybe we'll be able to get out of here. We're out somehow and um, unfortunately my camera was not prepared enough but we've made it and now we're heading back to Ford France. Sandra set his camera up and we're gonna just document the journey as much as we can but I'm already used to this car it's left hand drive the manual gate the gearbox Ooh. How you feeling? Vomit, vomit, vomit feeling challenge sick. part two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, this is too early to joke. Yeah, way too early. <laughs> I need some crossings. <laughs> so I think we skipped two and a half hours worth of driving because it was pretty tedious. The motorways have been lovely and smooth. Um, cruising at the speed limit. And now we've gone to my own restaurant for breakfast. Sam's munching away. Oh, people are wanting them. Oh, are they? We just went past the Mercedes truck. Ah. So I don't know how the rest of the journey is going to go, but I did kind of want to do a sort of an overview video on what the Ford Fiesta is like. If, I, if I'm unable to film that, then I'm going to do a review back in the UK and then sort of talk about it and then jump back to the footage from what we've been using here of driving the car. Sam's on one, I've got payouts coming up. Oh, man. We're away. This is hard. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Burn that fuel, I just put it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing well. Our estimated time of arrival on the sat-nav is telling us that it's 
4 p.m. and it's nine o'clock at the moment, so seven hours left. However, this seems off. Google Maps is a lot more accurate and that's telling us that it's about half three, so. Yeah, it's overly cautious, I find this stuff. Yeah, overly cautious. And maybe it could be a little bit bigger. So, I've never actually driven back down this road and I don't think you have either. We drove down this road twice, twice both in our cars and in this car. Red observation, Paul. But the way back, we went a different route. A different route that included many countries. Many countries and it many was a, mountains. It was a long way home. So, um... Potentially a lot more petrol. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be too much to report on. We're just going to keep you updated with how things go. Endless motorway miles through France. Yeah. But I'm alright, I've had sleep. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling fresh. We've got this and you still have I know, I, 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 but I'm feeling strategic about that. I don't want to yeah. waste it. Okay. So it's like if I crack it open now, it's just going to give me a headache. Yeah, okay. So. That's understandable. So yeah, I've had a sleep probably for the last hour and a half, which is relatively selfish of me. But I also hear that you tried prank. You were thinking about pranking me. Very so. tempted to prank. <laughs> so so tempted to prank. Um, but yeah, I mean these the, this auto route to Soleil. Or <laughs> what's from the Soleil? We're going away from the Soleil. Exactly. Yeah. I can just see it getting progressively cloudier. As we move on into the distance, progressively cloudy or progressively cloudy? Progressively cloudy. What did I say? You said that, but I don't think that's grammatic. Progressively correct. cloudier. Progressively cloudy. It's getting cloudier. It's getting. It's getting cloudy. Progressively cloudier means that it's getting cloudier doubly as quick. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for clarifying. Yeah, that's fine. Spend many hours in this car, and it's taken on many many <laughs> hours <laughs> to find the traction control and sport mode and a private road. We were definitely on a private road earlier when we were playing with the sweet slow. However, on this main road in through the um, suburbs of Paris, there is a speed limit of. 80 kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> We're only eight minutes away. Is that right? Yeah, eight minutes. Yeah. We're eight minutes away from Ford France, so our journey is really coming to an end with the Ford Fiesta ST. The roads are starting to feel familiar. The scene through glass mobile. What? <laughs> Cutting that out. <laughs> <laughs> See it in front that's been deep batched, so you expect it to be a boy racer. That was traffic there. Oh, yeah, I need to get a picture as well. This is a good start. So, we say goodbye to the Ford Fiesta ST. We're at Ford on a bank holiday, we got led in by security to drop the car off, and now we're gonna get into an Uber and get to Garden Or for our Eurostar. We've made good time. Sam's out there Instagramming away. I want to get you blocking. Oh, yeah, and then we're gonna. Um, yeah, probably get kicked out pretty soon by the security for being. What are you doing? So, uh, yeah, I'll stop now and probably get back to you in the cab. As if by magic, <laughs> we've arrived in Paris in this absolute chaos. We're about to get run over. Yeah, we're about to get run over. So we've made it to the train. Absolutely timed it to perfection. Thanks to the Uber man for driving who could not speak a word of French. I can speak a word of English. Quite good, yeah, now it's time to get the train. So we've travelled the whole way across France. We decided that we'd leave at half six and we have timed it to perfection. Our train is not the next one to leave, the one after, so we've got plenty of time to check in, chill out. Had an hour and a half. Go to the information centre. Go to the information centre. And check in to get back to the UK. We've made it, back in England. Hello, I am now back in the SB Race Engineering office. 
in front of me is my laptop. I'm currently editing, editing this video that you're watching. I've just added in the clip of me arriving back into the UK with Sam at the Eurostar. And then as soon as I got back home, I fell asleep for approximately 36 hours. I didn't really, but it was um, a very, very long 24 to 36 hours of me feeling very tired. I'm now back in the office working away. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of um, my final day coming back from Monaco for the Formula One Grand Prix. And I have to say, what a huge and amazing experience. One of my uh, bucket list has been ticked. That is the end of the vlogs of my epic Monaco Formula One weekend. But that doesn't mean that the footage is gonna be stopping there. There's a still a ton of content to upload, some really fun videos. And on Sunday, I'm gonna be making a mini movie from my weekend. I've got so much content and so much sort of me and Sam on camera having a bit of a laugh that I think it's gonna be um, awesome to make a little mini movie, maybe half an hour or so for this Sunday's Top Gear substitution. And there's also a Ford Fiesta ST overview that we filmed on the way back on the French motorways. So that's to come as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It has been an absolutely amazing experience. Huge thanks to Ford France for hooking us up with the Fiesta ST. Awesome, awesome little car. Also thanks to the Luxurious Cars on Instagram for um, making sure that we were well accommodated for the qualifying and for the race on the hairpin. Awesome to be able to see the Formula One race. And that is the first ever time that I've been to Monaco for the Formula One Grand Prix. And by no means is it the last. I cannot wait. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, all of the videos and all of the uh, videos to come. Um, one final thing, from the 1st of June onwards, I'm going to be starting doing daily vlogs, so you get to see a bit of behind the scenes, a day in the life of what I'm getting up to, and that is going to be running throughout June. I'm gonna be going to London a lot to be doing some car spotting, and you're basically coming on every single adventure that I get involved with, whether it's business, whether it's cars, anything that goes on, you're gonna come along with me. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so I hope you guys are gonna be looking forward to the daily vlogs. I'm not sure when they're gonna be coming out, maybe midday the following day but I will explain all of that and also why I'm doing the daily vlogs as well. So thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. Thank you for supporting me and there's gonna be loads more to come. So make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that jazz and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Cheers guys.